y'all welcome back to my channel it's me the it's bina and as y'all can see by the title we're gonna get into some important things some important facts some stuff that i'm pretty sure a lot of y'all want to know but before we get into that i need y'all to make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and share this video like i said stop what y'all doing pause this video and click that rectangle that red rectangle and subscribe right now and turn on that bell so y'all can know when i pop So today's video is basically on how I'm graduating early. So if you don't know, I am the from the senior class 2020 in high school. You know, you know the class that didn't get nothing in. Y'all, I was thinking about dropping a video on basically how I feel because as y'all know, like the seniors of 2020, we ain't get no prom, we ain't get no senior events, we ain't get no senior trip, we didn't get to do no senior prank. We didn't get no prom. And then as freshmen in college, most of us didn't get that freshman experience, especially like students like me and, you know, HBCU, because a lot of y'all have asked me how was my experience um, last year um, at PV when I first came for like Panther Camp. And y'all, we ain't get, like some pals was trying, but we ain't get like no Panther Camp. Like Panther Camp was not it. Like... I didn't have no Panther Camp, basically. But I appreciate, you know, some of the panels that really tried. It wasn't their fault at all. But um, I'm basically going to touch base on how I, you know, came. I mean, graduating and next year. Next year, I'm graduating big senior. I mean, it's, it's getting real. Like, it's getting freaking real. And I'm going to tell y'all some ways and give y'all some advice that I know of, of ways that y'all can graduate early because... Let's be real, we know that tuition ain't cheap. We know them loans gonna be stacking up. So some people just wanna get in and get out. Some people might decide to take the community college route. We're gonna talk about that too. But I know there's some people that wanted to have a, like a real, you know, college experience, HBCU experience, or regular, you know, college experience. But at the same time, money, you gotta think about that money, you gotta think about them loans. So I understand how some people just wanna get out of school or some people just don't like school period and they just wanna, you know, so, I'm going to tell y'all about me, how I am graduating early. So, basically, like I said, I was a senior 2020 in high school. And now, like, currently in the fall, in fall 2021, which is right now, I am a junior. <laughs> a junior. And I'm planning to graduate in 2023. Period. That's the goal. So, anyways, so what happened was when I was a junior in high school, um, it was this program in my school. Most schools have this. It's called dual credit. And basically what it is is you take certain classes at your local community college and you get those college ed out college hours like you're a regular college student, which you are because they treat it like that and everything the hours are the same when you there you go a couple of days at the week and if you pass you will get the credit the college credit and it will be transferred to your the university that you plan on going when you graduate high school so um sophomore year oh let me stop there some schools they have it to where you can start early now i know now they got it to where some people they got it for kids they can start like sophomore year of high school and some actually leave their high school having their associates because they got like two years um of college hours which is you know everybody they first two years on college is really just basic so most of the basics everybody take the same like their english their algebra one um college biology all that type of stuff and other stuff or whatever and just say if you do know exactly what you want to go major in when you go into co um, college it'd be even better that you could look up like your college degree plan and you can see the class that you're needed to get like your degree or whatever that you need to take and if they got them bases you can take it or whatever so yeah like i was saying when i became a junior i took was it two, i think i took two classes a semester like they gave us only they only allowed us to take like the english english in a, hist a type of history class or government class and then you know the second part the next semester and then the same thing happened senior year i took two classes and then two classes that next semester so they gave me about 
Well, I took three my senior year. But yeah, they didn't go as planned. But they gave me around like 15 or no, I think it was more like 20 something credit hours. I was already ahead 15 or something like that, I forgot. But I still came in in college as a freshman. But as soon as I finished my first semester of college, I was considered a second semester sophomore. Now I don't know how, like I, I gotta get into it. Like y'all gotta Google the, um, the amount of credit hours that tells you whether you're a sophomore or a junior or senior because the good thing about college is like you can be in a class of freshmen, juniors, seniors, or whatever. You're not gonna know what that person's classification is. It really depends on the amount of credit hours they already have. So like I said, after I came to college or whatever, I still was in the middle. Like I still had a lot um credit hours already, but I still had, didn't have enough to be considered a sophomore. However, when I finished my first first semester of college, I was considered a sophomore. Okay, so after that year, I finished my, after the second semester, okay, my second semester of my first year on college, okay? Last year, y'all, stick with, stick with. Um, I was still a sophomore, I was just a sophomore, and by the end of that year, I literally only needed, how much is it? Five credit ways, three. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. I gotta make sure I tell y'all the right facts. How many credit hours is it? Oh, yeah. So, I was still considered a sophomore. I just needed, like, 15 more credits, which means I need to take three more classes to be considered a junior. So, y'all, PV, they've been giving away a lot of um, her grants. If y'all, some of y'all may know, some of y'all probably heard of it. It's, like, basically some grants they've been giving us because, you know, the pandemic that's been going on. So, when I applied for summer school, at first, y'all, I was going to do um do summer school at my local community college back at home because it's cheaper and you still can be able to like transfer it which i recommend if like you try to do summer classes and they try to charge y'all because y'all know at a university it's like way more expensive like pvs are like around a thousand something each each course so i was going to do tcc and yeah i explained another video whatever how to figure that out and stuff like that if y'all have questions about that but then I seen that they was giving out like money for summer school. And then of course I wanted to take that and offer them at the, um, the other university. I was like, okay, I want to take, I really want to take like one class y'all, just one class. But when I said they gave me all that money, I was like, why not take three, be a junior and you know, be out. So I took them three courses. I passed them, aced them, you know, did my thing this summer. It was fast paced y'all, it's five weeks. So you know, a lot of stuff be, back to back to back to back so like if you feel like you built built for it if you know you can keep up with fast paced work tests and you can learn that fast then i say take summer classes and stuff like that because that's what i did and that's like after i took those and i passed them i was literally considered a junior and that's how i'm here now and like how um like i said i always go over my um degree plan so i can make sure i'm on top of my stuff knowing when i graduate and everything and i started calculating the courses i'm gonna need to take like for this semester which i'm already taking now and then next semester and then like my senior year those two semesters and literally y'all i'm supposed to take like five classes each of those semesters but i'm debating if i want to do summer school because i kind of want a nice looking schedule of my senior year but yeah y'all so that's basically how i'm graduating early or whatever did it in three so tips for y'all for other people that want to you know graduate early and stuff like that like i said the first th um step is please do dual credit i know some people at some schools they have it to where they have a program to where like i said once they graduate high school they graduate with their associate's degree so when they go to college they only have to do like two more years of college unless they want to you know um, pursue a master's degree or a doctorate or whatever so that is perfect you literally are taking the same classes that you're gonna need to take when you come to college anyway stuff that don't have to do with your major like english biology government your history classes your college algebra i say get that out the way so when you come here really you can just focus on your major because you know how people be like college is a scam well it kind of is because your first two years you're not doing you're not learning anything about your major unless you're taking like you know an introduction of this class and stuff like that but other than that, take the dual credit classes because you can get more credits or something. Some some credits is better than none. 
So I say do that or at least try it out. And then it's better than AP classes. Like some people choose to do AP. You have to pass the actual test in AP to get that credit. But when you do dual credit, as long as you pass the class with at least I think a C, it's yeah, a C, they will transfer your credits. And it won't lower your GPA when you get to that university. They don't even count that GPA. That's another good tip. And that's the same way if you decide to do summer school at another at like your local community college and want to transfer them back they will not it will not count against your gpa here but it will transfer which i i like that i'm not gonna lie y'all that is good because british lit that c would have boosted me down but when it came here it didn't count but we're not gonna talk about that so yeah that's one advice i um for y'all to take is take dual career class trust me trust me it's worth it it's literally the same same way when you get here it prepares you too also like it really prepares you um also another tip i have is take summer classes in many semesters so like i said if you already know your degree plan see if your school offer it like in the summertime i really i really would want y'all to go and see if y'all local community college have it because they still charge out in the summer for them class and now sometimes like to see your university is going to charge a lot of money um for those courses but your community college of course is going to be way cheaper and stuff like that so yes you can still do summer classes at another university while attending you know your university in the fall a lot of people i know did it and transferred their stuff and you know got their credits for that but i was lucky enough that you know during this pandemic that on um, pv they they gave a lot of people fast before they summer courses and they paid for it so that's the only reason i decided to take those classes um here or whatever so yeah do that also many schools i know pv do they have many semesters so like during christmas break they might have it to where they they have classes that you can take in um spring break or you know just many breaks like during like you know spring break winter break all those type of breaks and you can take them take the class that they offer and get that easy credit and boom boom bam you already got a class out the way so that's one thing another thing is you can take the maximum credit hours now look i'm not gonna do it i don't even want to work in college i know myself and i don't want to be tired of work myself with too much stuff to do but i know some people that can you might have a lot of easy courses this semester and be like oh i can take this extra class now if you can't afford it don't do it don't take out no loan don't be wasting your money you know you can handle it then take them extra courses or whatever because i think the maximum hours is 18 here i think the maximum hours that you can take is like six classes or whatever i'm keeping it to five some people even some people just take four but in my i always take five or whatever so take six and that help you get it done quicker take six each semester and boom going even though it's like one extra class y'all It'd be, it's so crazy how quick just like getting a lot of classes out the way will make it go by faster and stuff like that. Like, trust me, like, it's, it's so crazy, but it's gonna really help y'all get through school quick. Is programs. I know it's certain programs, like for instance, when I was in high school, it was like this teaching program. And it's some programs, depending on the major, make sure y'all heard that, depending on the major, and don't quote me, depending on the major, it's certain programs y'all can take to where like y'all go to school and y'all can get right there like in, three years two years and stuff like that like i said i know it was this teacher program i was um in at first at, in high school and it was people that had come and talked to us and they'd be like at their school they offer it to where like if you get into like go straight to, through their program since we're basically in high school that they could help you get your degree or cert certification in like two years or a year or even a couple like a couple months or whatever so look into that that's what i say always research y'all like that's all i do like research 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 try to figure out everything like some of this stuff is new to me because the school i attended they ain't let you girl know nothing i have to learn everything myself so research really does go a long way so please research especially depending on the major that you have if you know what you want to do or even the career field you want to go into because which i'm gonna get into once again another video so many majors like you might have noble career you want to go into but it's so many different majors that you can major in that's in that same career field if you get what i'm saying like for instance i'm in sociology but if i want to do social work i do social work but i'm not a social work major but i could still go into the hacking many semesters which is summer courses and like winter courses dual credit most definitely recommend 
um, take maximum credit hours, which is extra classes that your university allow you to take, um, and programs. So that's really it. That's all that I have for y'all for gradu um for ways to like graduate early. I'm pretty sure it's other ways, but them are the main ones that I know of and that other people probably know of. Um, but yeah. Thank y'all for tuning in. You know, I'm trying to stay consistent. Your girl is trying to stay consistent. I hope y'all love the video. Let me know if y'all have any more questions. I'm going to always answer. I'm going to always, you know, try to get back to y'all as soon as possible and stuff like that. But thank y'all for supporting me. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And I'll be back with another mother freaking thing. Peace.